November 2009, the city council of Mechelen, located in the center of Flanders, Belgium, started with the excavation of part of the northern cemetery of the St. Rumbold Cathedral, due to plans for the construction of underground parking at this location. The origins of Mechelen date back as far as the 10th century AD, and the cemetery was already in use probably as far back as the year 1000 AD. It's assumed that people were continually buried in this location until 1785, when the cemetery was abandoned. Between 1134 and 1255, the Church of St. Rumbold was the only parish church of Mechelen, which implies that during this period, all inhabitants of Mechelen were buried in the cemetery surrounding the church. After that, other parishes with their own cemeteries were established. This site will presumably reveal over 4,000 burials. The site is excavated using arbitrary layers between 30 and 50 centimeters deep, as clear layers were not yet visible on site. For each level, seven in total, the burials are excavated, photographed, recorded on a skeleton sheet, plotted on a general plan, and removed, after which levels are taken at the bottom of the burial. We hope to determine a clear chronology in the burials, based on objects like coins found in the grave fill, stratigraphical patterns and carbon dating. We are also very interested in the variation in burial patterns, since they might indicate different groups or changes over time. As part of the field anthropological methods used on site, we also record the positions of the different bones and the individual as a whole, as this may tell us something about the original burial context and burial customs, not immediately visible in the soil. For the bioarchaeological study of the skeletons, we determine preliminary age and sex on site, as well as measurements for stature, preservation, and indications for pathological lesions as the result of disease and trauma. In the context of natural sciences, we've sampled the abdominal content of the individuals for any indications of diet or parasites. For many of the individuals, we've also sampled teeth on site in sterile conditions for possible analysis of ancient DNA. All this information will be used for the preparation of an assessment report after the excavation in which our preliminary findings will be published. We hope to determine a typology of the burial contexts and an indication of the variation in orientation, burial goods, position and so on. Associated with the general plans of the site, we hope this will already indicate some patterning in the cemetery, both spatial and chronological. A first anthropological study, such as determination of age, sex, human variation, activity patterns and pathology of a selection of individuals will also be incorporated in the assessment report to determine possible avenues for further study. An important aspect of this project is the concern for public outreach. People are encouraged to take an interest in the excavation by the possibility of seeing the archaeologists at work, information at the site on the project, supporting research by adopting a skeleton, a small exhibition nearby, and regular updates in our blog and newsletters. We hope that this interest from the public will inspire the city and government to promote its archaeological heritage even further. This excavation will result in a large and provenanced research collection which will be available for study by students and established researchers and which has a huge potential for the study of the history of Mechelen and the study of the people who lived here before us in a larger inter-regional context. Mm -hmm.